Hey guys, I'm Mike from Science with Mike. This is five things you might not have known about being a chemistry major. Number one. Well, you've heard that cliche that alcohol isn't a problem, it's a solution. Well, not if it's a pure substance, because a pure substance isn't a solution at all. <laughs> Boom diggity! Number two. You're going to have so many career paths. There's so many career paths that people don't think of. You want to work in a laboratory? You can be a technician in two years. If you want to go to graduate school for your PhD, it's free and you get paid to teach labs. You could go get a degree in chemistry and then go to law school and be a patent lawyer. Do you think that all those compounds that the pharmaceutical industry makes just patent themselves? No, they need a chemist. My dad was a chemist. He went into industry. I'm a chemist. I went into education. There's all stuff you can do with like all sorts of stuff. <sighs> Number three, the hardest part of getting a chemistry degree, because it's in your third year, you need to survive physical chemistry. Not thrive, survive. It's like everything physical about molecules explained with c c calculus. <laughs> Number four, please hear me on this. Working in a chemistry lab is not like it is on TV. A real chemistry lab doesn't just have glassware with food coloring in it around everywhere. And not all chemists have to wear a lab coat. Matter of fact, if you just buy a $3 shirt from the thrift store, you'd be good. And finally, number five, chemists always must take this precaution. And when you get acid on you, it doesn't make your hand melt off like it does in the movies. And that's why chemists always wash their hands before they go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Check out the new guy. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, I'll see you later. I got to go do some stuff.